I said, well, you know, Terry, um, you really need to kind of report those types of things. Um, let me take care of it since I'm the HHD commander. And she says, well, gee, maybe we shouldn't make a hassle, which is where a lot of toxic leadership gets to continue. It's not just the allowing by the commanders to do it. It's the willingness of the persons that have been, um, quite frankly, hurt, victimized by it, not to want to make waves. Like I said, I had a good 18 years on this girl, so I went to the battalion commander and told him what had happened. Um, the major, quite frankly, was removed from the, the command. They, they'd placed him somewhere else in order to keep that from coming, and only to find out, because it was never reflected right on anybody's records, this guy is now a brigade commander, um, still doing the same types of things. And it's because we don't want to put on, and there is a reluctance to try to remove people, or quite frankly, it is just really hard in some cases, um, to remove people for that type of behavior. They've started a 360 assessment tool now, and I'm hoping that identifies these guys, or the guys that, and, and gals, quite frankly, I've known women that, that were just equally as bad, identifying them sooner and letting us, quite frankly, they just don't have any place in the Army anymore. You're just gonna have to be the consummate professional, and you're going to have to learn, unfortunately, it might not be, in some cases, the Army way, because, oh, you need to be bold, and you need to stand up for yourself. There were situations I've been in where if I did that, oof, not been good. You do not call out a general officer, a full colonel in front of the staff. Learn how to handle it appropriately. But most, all, uh, most often, if you think something is going to go, start confiding in a friend. Talk to the chaplain. A uh, chaplain is a very good resource, and don't put up with it. Uh, I know that is very easy to say. In reality, it is exceedingly hard to do.